What's going on, Mr. Rapner? And I just got out of seeing Evil Dead Rise, and whoo! What a horror movie this was. For those who don't know, it's not a remake of the first movie or any of the movies. It's not even a sequel. I don't think it is. Even though one could use their headcanon to say it is a sequel to the 2013 version because there's not really much here that says it's way different than that, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so instead of being at the typical cabin like all of the other ones have been, this takes place in an apartment building and a specific floor with this family and when the, 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 the demons takes over, all hell breaks loose. If you're into Evil Dead, you know the premise of these movies and what they do. Now, I thoroughly enjoyed this one. Like, I loved it, man. What I can say is, it's not as scary as the 2013 version for me, personally. Like, the 2013 version of Evil Dead remake, that, to me, was the pinnacle of, like, fucking terrifying, frightening. I don't think that this one goes to that to that level. And take what I say with a grain of salt. I'm, like, a horror enthusiast. Like, I'm, <clears throat> I watch horror movies every single day. So... I guess I'm kind of desensitized. So if you're not really a horror person, this this is gonna gonna, gonna check the mark for you for sure. And to be fair, fair, it is scary. There are moments in it here, like like literally when the shit gets rolling, there's no letting up. You're on the edge of your seat the entire time. But I just gotta say that to me, the 2013 version was scarier than this one. But what I can say about this one is this one was just more enjoyable like i'm probably gonna rewatch this one more than the 2013 version or have the, any of the movies in the franchise like i'm gonna watch this one the most because what this what evil dead rise managed to do was it still felt like something of the franchise that kept everything that we know and love about evil dead if you're a fan of, of getting this franchise but it also found a way to make it its own separate thing and give it like a different feel. Like it felt like things that I've seen before, but just elevated with the Evil Dead Rise. As a matter of fact, I think there's a, there's, a, there's a movie called Apartment 123 or some shit like that. I forgot the name of it, but it, it, it kind of reminded me of that film, but just wrapped in the Evil Dead franchise and, and they just elevated it so much. Like it taking place completely in an apartment building and the floor of an apartment building just makes it feel that much more claustrophobic and you deal with other characters besides this family which i think allows to spread of the terror and what's going on um one thing about this this movie man the sound design is fucking crazy like there are moments like i'm, I'm sitting here watching the movie and i hear stuff and i'm thinking this shit is in the room with me like bugs flying around i'm, I'm thinking like is there, a, is there like a bug like next to me like sound design was crazy um and uh, whew, the performances all were, were good. We're, we're good to great. You know, shout out to the child actor to be able to act through all the crazy shit she was in. Because holy shit, I can't imagine being at age, being on set, seeing a lot of this stuff, right? Um, I forgot the actress's name, but the one who plays the, the, the mom and the main delight, if you will. Oh boy, she, whew, man. Just utterly frightening. Like, honestly, like, just, whew, man. They do this thing in this movie, right? Where I, I, I can say that in the Evil Dead franchise, they don't really do this that often. But for her, for her, they keep the same voice that she speaks with regularly while she looks fucking crazy. And to me, that adds a whole different layer of just like fright. When you see somebody with this appearance, you're just like, "Hi, we can make the demons go." Like, it, whew, scary as shit. Um. And they do something different with the, the Book of the Dead that I don't, I don't think I've seen in any of the other movies, which I like. And I feel like they can catapult a, a, a franchise moving forward with just what they did with the, with the book here. <coughs> like, I hope we get a sequel and more expounding upon the book because I, I just really enjoy what the fuck they did with that. Like, I can't, I, can't, I don't want to spoil it because you just got to see it. But they did something way different that opens the world of Evil Dead where it's like, huh, well, I wonder what else is, is going on, you know? And I really like that they did that. And um, I love this, I love the, set, the setting. They managed to keep it really rainy. It's it's very dark. It's moody. 
days, spend the first like 15 minutes setting up all the characters, which I, they did a really good job with that. You understand each character, who they are, the relationships. They build it out very quickly without giving you a whole lot of information. And I applaud, hold my screen flipping. And I applaud writing to be able to do that because if you don't get us to care about these characters, none of this shit matters. But they actually got us to care about each of these characters. You know, it's not over the top like, oh, you're super in emotionally, but you're you have you have some type of of, of uh, understanding of everybody, so it makes the, the the horror elements hit even harder when certain shit goes down. And it's like, whoa! But man, this movie, oh, the, the creep factor, man, like what the director does. <coughs> excuse me, damn, I'm still coming over a sickness, so sorry. <coughs> movie shot beautifully and the, and the camera choice that the director does, the angles that he plays with are just fantastic and keep you guessing and he sets it up early on too so you, it, it, it'll show you a certain view early and you'll visit it and revisit it in different ways that just and every time you revisit that view the shit just gets crazier and crazier like I'm sure you, you've seen the, the, you know, the, uh, the peephole uh, um, lens from the, the trailers you ain't seen nothing when it comes to that shit. Holy moly. Um, the director does a great job of like hiding things in the back that you kind of see for a split second. And you're like, oh shit. And then it cuts. And then <coughs> you see what you... And, oh man. There's one scene when it's like the, 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 the little daughter and the son walking. And they're, they're in the room and he's holding a knife. And if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. It just shows him following. Oh my God. Like... <sighs> The creep factor is, is on 10. It, it's, it's on 10 and maybe... Oh, man. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to think what else I'm going to say about this film. The only thing I did not like about the movie, and my only gripe, is the way that things get the ball rolling. I'm just like, come on, man. I've, I've been a kid, but, I, but in my kid brain, I would not do what this person just did. Like, and in all of the movies... The ball gets rolling because somebody does something dumb. But I feel like here it's taken to a different level where I'm just like, I would, who who would do that? Like, you know, who, who would do that? But <clears throat> I get it. Horror movies, you have to get the ball rolling somehow, even if the, the way it happens is stupid. But I just don't like the fact that if this kid would have never done what they did, none of this shit would happen. You know, when, when one choice can avoid the movie completely, it kind of is like, ah, I would have written it a little bit better than, than that. But... It's not a big right because the movie still works. Excuse me. Um, and oddly enough, well, I can't say that. I was going to say this movie doesn't have that many jump scares, but yes, the fuck it does. Whew. One in the beginning got the shit out of me that I didn't, I, mean, I didn't even see coming, but it just worked so well. And again, the sound design of, 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 of the book of the... Uh, I, I, I can't wait to watch this again. I love all the Easter eggs. <coughs> Excuse me. To, to to all of the, the previous evil deaths that we've seen, like I was just sitting there like, oh, that's that's clever. They did that. They even did the blood rain, which I'm not gonna say how they did it, but it was awesome the way they they, they put that in there. Um, there's even a certain camera movement that they do. Two two things actually that they that they utilize that's an instant callback to what Raimi did in his film, and I was like, that's fucking good. I love that. So much so that if you don't if you don't know the series, you won't catch it. So um, <coughs> excuse me. Evil Dead Rise is gory as fuck. All the hype you've heard about it being gory, it is that. If you are not in the blood and <laughs> nobody's safe in this movie. I... The way it opens up, <sighs> literally. The whole crowd in my theater was like, oh shit, like, when this particular thing happened. So, give me the rise. Great film. If you are questioning, if you want to see it in theaters, go see it. I, I loved it. I can't wait to do my ranking because this one's going to be sitting on my mind so much because I enjoyed it. This is like the most enjoyable for me of all the films, and I'm going to revisit it quite a bit, you know. So, uh... If you see the movie, let me know in the comments what you think. And if you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, thank you. And until next time, peace. Rap Nerd Productions, no capping, that's word to mommy.